In this video, I'm going to show you some basics of navigation using VBA. So things like offsetting, going to a different sheet, finding the active cell, the current region, and in select. So here's what we do. I'm going to go over to the VBA. I'm just going to shrink this up a bit so we can see both sides. Here we go. Okay, let me create a new sub called sub navi. Enter. Tab in, and let's do this. Let's first get the active cell. What I can do for that, in fact, what I can do is go to the immediate window and find out where the active cell is. If I go like this, question mark, active cell, this will give me the value of the active cell. Well, the active cell right now is this right here, navigation, offset, etc. So it gave me that. Let me close this. If I do question mark, active cell dot address, it's going to give me the current address of the active cell. It is G6, the top left of this merged area. If I click here on C3, this will change to C3. Observe. So this is the active cell. So let me do this. Active cell uh, uh, address. Oops, add comment. Ha. Ah, address. I'm going to debug dot print this first just to see what it is. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to say active cell dot value equals in quotes James. Then I'm going to say active cell dot offset and I can offset a certain number of rows and a certain number of columns. So if I offset one row and one column, that's going to put a new value let's do see dot value equals Joe that's going to put the name Joe in the cell that is down one and to the right one of James the current active cell enter now I can do this as well I can say active cell dot offset one comma one so that's where Joe is dot activate and that will make the new active cell where Joe is. To figure that out for sure, let's do this. Debug dot print active cell dot address. There we go. Let's run this and then we'll do some more. Okay, so I hit run. Ooh, object required. Let's debug this. Active cell dot offset. Ooh. One, comma one. So we caught an error. I spelled active cell incorrectly. There we go, active cell. And then go ahead and continue running. So what happened? Let me clean all this up and do this in slow-mo for you. Okay. So we're going to make our active cell C3 for now. To do this in slow-mo, to go one line of code at a time, you can do this. Debug, step into. Or you can just hit F8, which is what I'm going to do. F8. F8. So now we're on this line. It's going to print the active cell address, which is C3. You can see down at the bottom, it printed C3. F8. It's now going to set Joe into the cell that is one down and one below, or one to the right of James. There we go, in D4. Now we're going to activate that cell. Look at that. It activated. And then we're going to print the new active cell address, D4. Pretty cool. So that ran the whole thing. What to do next? Next, we're going to make a little bit of data here. Let's make a lot of Joes and a lot of Jameses. There we go. Let's stick another Joe here. And now what I want to do is select the current region. To do that, I go like this. Active cell. Currently, it's inside there. It's C7 dot current region dot select. What's this going to do? It's going to select everything from C3 all the way down to D13. Let's see if this works. In fact, if I want to see if this works but I don't want to run all of this code, what I could do is copy this and stick it in the immediate window and just paste it there and try it out. Boom! I hit enter and it selected the current region. That's pretty nice. Let's try out some other code down here. 
I'm in C3. Let's say I want to go to the bottom of this column and type out another name. Oops, hit enter again. Ah. Okay. I would do something like this. Active cell dot end parentheses. I want to go Excel down end parentheses dot you know, I don't want to type the name immediately on the last one. I want to type the one after it. So I do offset one row and zero columns. Dot value equals James. Now let's do something funny. Josephine. There we go. Enter. Whoa, look what that did. It went down to the very bottom of this and typed Josephine one below the last name. I can do a similar thing. Let me take all of this. Notice it didn't activate Josephine. It just typed it in there. Now if I just type this in here, active cell dot end excel down and then offset one, so I'm one below the last thing in my column, which is now C14. Let me activate that cell. Activate. Notice it jumped down to the bottom, went down one more for the offset, and then activated this cell. Pretty cool. Now let's say we want to go to a different sheet. Let's do this. I would say sheets. Let's see, we can call it, we can use an index like one or two or three, or we can just call it by name, which gets less confusing, I think. So let's go to sheet two down here. Sheet two, quote, dot activate. Enter. And look what it does. It activates sheet two. Pretty cool. And that should do for now for navigation in Excel using VBA.